today in the office is a very special day. What, what would you think happened if our brother took all the balloons? Customers have uh, travelled away from Canada. This is his own branded watch. I'm going to be talking about the Rolex Deep Sea. Let's dive right into it. Oh, the actual quality of the dog is really nice. It's only just where we've got so many in stock like that. If you literally looked in that, I've got one over here and I've got three over there. Today, we've got the new shape Cartier de Santos with a white dial, full diamond set, highest set you can get, VS quality, VS clarity, beautiful. Very nice with the white dial as well, keeping it clean, keeping it plain. But should we add a navy dial to it, should we do the grey dial to it, or should we keep it white? Or should we do a puffy dial on it, you tell me. What do you think makes it slap? Yeah, just drop me like a hello or something. Yeah. I'll, I'll drop a hello. Right? Yeah, and I'll load the messages up. It's only just where we've got so many in stock like that. If you literally looked in there, yeah. I've got one over here and I've got three over there. So yeah. it's just a time for us for stock. Yeah. Otherwise, we'd, we'd probably give, we'd allow you more money. It's just bad timing for us for, for buying these. I mean, we don't really need them. We're only buying them because you got them from us. We feel like we have to offer you something. Is that in boys? Yeah. Oh, you send the bag? Yeah. yeah. Send the bag? Yeah. We send this? Oh, no. Oh, no. Why not? Just, just, we'll like, just watch it. If it's yeah. for sale, man. How much is it? How much good? That's it, though. Yeah. Did we, did we, did we that collect? What's that? Um, the, EV, the ADLC Santos yeah. diamond bezel. Oh, the uh, yeah. black, all black? Yeah, we'll do black. Yeah. Oh, it's a good target. Yeah. I've got an all black diamond set. All black diamond one. Any players in recently? No, bad days. Who we had in recently? Well, they haven't had, but I served Cancelo. The other day, after the United game, he's on a message, he was like, oh, he went, no, oh, the ref, he's going, the ref cheated after. <laughs> he's fuming. <laughs> Just let us know, yeah? Yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, no, thanks for that. Cheers, boys. Thank you. See you. So that was two returning customer of ours. Last year they purchased two Datejust 41 mils off us. Uh, they needed to sell them, but because of our current stock, we didn't necessarily need them. Uh, however, we did offer them a price uh, due to them being returning customers. Um, so yeah, happy that the deal went smooth. Um, and if you're interested, they will be available for stock. So hit me up on the DMs. So today in the office is a very special day. We've hit 10,000, yes, 10,000 watches we've bought in. So we're gonna get some balloons and take a lovely picture for the Instagram. Back with a bang. Now, what? what? Just purchased our 10,000th watch. So we're doing a balloon in the freezing cold. Did you bring him in? I think they should be lower, man. The Didn't spell watch is wrong. Didn't spend spell ten thousand wrong. Nearly did. Nearly did. Nearly got an extra zero. <coughs> but <sighs> aiming high. A lovely milestone for us. We missed the ten thousand. Get a nice smudge in it for the ground. While we're doing work, Al's singing and like, mm. you see this? He's been wasted in here. I'm here selling. We've got the Instagram back. So, for everyone who was worried on the messages, the main Instagram is now back. I'll put the Instagram there, at Trot Jewelers, verified page, 362,000 followers, you know the deal. Drop me a message if you want anything in terms of watches or if you want to drop us a question. That Sorry, Mike. I really want to go rugby tackle with them balloons. 
by heat. Like, what do you what 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 do you think happens if I rubber tackle all the balloons? Cows definitely lay in the yard. Cows I think it's worth punches. So guys, we've done it, we hit the milestone, 10,000 watches in the bag. This is all purchases. Obviously don't forget, some of the watches are retained of us, so it's not like we hold 10,000 watches right now. This is buying and selling. Um, obviously some are retained, put away. Um, but yeah, absolute amazing milestone for Trotters. Um, we think it's a, quite a nice figure to hit. Um, hence the balloons. Right. I need a 22 Batman on an Oyster. 10,001 watches. Uh, we're going to continue to let's hit that number again, hopefully sooner rather than later. Let's not wait the amount of years it took us to get to this number. And uh, yeah, lovely. So guys, it's because of you, uh, the continuous support, coming to Trotters and you know, being part of the buying, the selling, uh, even the viewers, you know, getting us out there even more. We really appreciate it and it means the world to us. Thank you. Bit of gel. So someone pointed out in the comments that my hair was messy. Just like to point out that Mikey comes in here on a Monday morning. So I'm normally better Tuesday to Saturday. So gelling my hair for you. <laughs> Let's go. Have a good one, man. There you go. Right, you're in North London. Do not forward it, the jewellery section, because today we're going to be talking about watches. Customers just dropped his watch in for a polish. As you can see, it's not in the best condition. We're gonna turn it around for him same day. We do do watches in North London. We do sell them, we do buy them. But obviously with the penthouse, they've got the bigger selection. We do the more lower end affordable stuff. Plus all the jewelry that you don't like watching. So step one is disassembling the watch and that's taking the bracelet off of the head and taking the clasp off the bracelet. So like that, that'll make it a lot easier for us to polish the clasp and the bracelet and the head. Step two is the grey wheel, which takes off all the scratches. It's sort of like a deep, heavy polish. Step three is the yellow wheel, which gives you that lovely finish, that lovely polish. So the little yellow stone you see me using is the polish that we put on the wheel to give it a lovely shine. Perfect. So now we're moving over to me taping it up. And I'm taping it up because the middle bit is where it's nicely polished and the edges need to be matted. No pressure. It's like it's like surgery, scalpel, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Leave me alone. Yeah, perfect. We're ready to go. What are you up to? So now we're on the matting wheel, the red one. Uh, this is why we taped up the, the center links uh, so we can mat the edges. We do have a single one here that is actually about. Did you manage to fuck that up? Yeah. yeah. And 
then finally it goes into a lovely hot sonic it comes out and it looks brand new and voila what's going on people so ed you uh just done a polish come out very well thank you very much uh you just done some talking heads about how you do the polish how did that go well the polishing went well um the filming i feel sorry for my kid there's a lot of editing to do there but yeah look it's done now and i hope you like the content No worries, mate. Maybe two minutes. Let me just ask the team who we spoke to. You. Hey, hey. You good? How's it going? So it's good to see you, bro. Just give me one second. I'm sorry. How you doing, brother? You alright? How's it going, man? All good, man. All good. Good, good, good. You off the boys? You got the deposit or you? No, just looking. Looking. Yeah. Yeah, he came from Canada, so he's in for watching stuff. Bring him here. Toronto. Hmm? Toronto. Where are you? Calgary. Ottawa. 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 Nice. Um, I was looking for something for my brother, but he his budget was twenty to twenty-five. But he wanted, he wanted gold. It's really tricky, isn't it? For an all-gold watch, the cheapest one I no, have. Could buy. Buy metal. So currently, he has the. Um, they just two tone jubilee. Nice. Still in yellow. Yeah. Something like that was still in yellow. Yeah. So he's looking for something between 20 and 25. Buy metal, rose or yellow, yeah. all gold. All gold is about 30 plus. 25 is a bit max. Yeah, I don't think you'll get one. Like the, the cheapest one there is like 30, 33. Day day two. Mm. And Daytona is like 40 grand. Root beers, 33s. What about the, these rolls? These are like 15 fives. They just 15 five, 15 and a quarter. Rose rubber yacht, that's in your budget. 2018, 23. Let's take a picture for him. It's nice, that, it's nice, that one's comfy, man. But then, like, you got these, these are like 15 fives. Yeah, you have something over here like this, but yellow, yellow. <laughs> And then you can get like a Starbucks, you can get a blue face sky dweller, fully stickered, ah. 218, Pepsi's. I'm gonna try the Pepsi now. I have an Explorer 2. I was wondering what it would take to trade. Oh, I don't really need it, man. You don't want the Explorer 2, right? I'll be honest with you, there's certain watches that sell for me and there's certain watches that don't. And that Buy a metal sea dweller, I'd stay 10 times clearer than I can never, I can never sell them. The 50th anniversary, deep sea, I can never sell it. James Cameron, I can just about sell. That's Nice, the green. Green OP. Oh, uh, you need to green now. It's nice, that one. Mm. 2020. Why do you ruin that Patek, man? Fuck. <laughs> How much is that? 88. Hmm? 88. Jeez. 88, 90. I got a Cartier's um, tank from here. Nice. On Christmas. That might not get, get on your hand. Trust watch. <laughs> Nice. How much is this coming? Nine eight hour. You won't take an explorer too for this. <laughs> Man, I've got I've got explorer too. So I've got it. I have a um, sub no day. Yep. But I feel like they forced me to get the explorer too, so they could give me the no day. That's what I do. Unfortunately, just kind of like play my game there. You know, they'll give you something. You know. But if I sell that, would they know? Depends if they ask for it, but if you go back there and they ask, do you why, would they, why would they ask me that question? Because they ask all the time. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm blacklisted. I can't go back in any Rolex store. Why? Because I sold the watch and I asked it back and I couldn't. How did they it. know you, you sold it though? Is it the reference? They asked me, have you still got the watch? Can you prove that you can I sold that it. That is crazy. For a business, you're going to prove, prove, that you, prove that you still have the watch. Can't prove the guy, I don't know who the guy was. So I'm not going to ring the guy up and can I borrow that watch just so I can go back into my AD? So they randomly ask you to prove you still have the watch? Of course they do. How many years before that? What if I give it to my brother or something? If you get it to your brother, my friend, he buys all his watches at the AD, but he only sells to close friends. So they're easily, they, you can easily get them back and yeah. go into the store with the watch. Mm, if I sold it to a random guy, I mean, I don't know where he is now. 
This is nice. So this one nice. Yeah, you got okay. Good. Uh, so bad, so bad. That one there. Uh, Starbucks is nice. This is all mine. You've got a budget of 20, 20 to 25, but you want an all gold watch. All gold watch. Oh, yeah. my brother. You know, you know how to go, you? Yeah. It's within your budget as well. And it's fresh. What? Sky Dollar, still. Still. It's fully stickered. Box and papers. 21. Someone's Ooh. worn it. Ooh. Fast. 21. Fully stickered, mate. And this time last year, you, How much you was half drilled up. Like, you know they were going pushing 30s this time last year, so you got to take it there as well. Fully stickered. So it's half an investment and it's fully stickered. This thing is for my brother, right? He, he likes to flash it, so he wants a little bit of buy. Ah. He has the okay. um, date just, um, he has the date just two tone in yellow. <laughs> oh my god, it's gonna be uh, tough, isn't yeah. it? It shouldn't be 25 grand budget, but. Yeah, he wants to yeah, yeah, it's yeah, hard, it's hard, it's hard yeah. for all gold. So what's new, man? Nothing, man. What's the business I, saying? So good, yeah. Chopping the monies? Uh, <laughs> trying to be like you guys, well. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, listen, I'm getting gas from you, bro. Oh, After it. you left, I got hungry. Ah. <laughs> it's it. My performance doubled. It's got the slideable clasp, which is the new, yeah, yeah, new yeah. Uh, thing function for the buckle. Oh, my. Yeah, my sub, no date has no clasp. Good luck. Yeah. He did like this one at first, but he wasn't sure. It's not so much. Fifteen, see? Fifteen to fifty. Oh. I like the root beer, but in two ton. I think the all rose is a bit too much. Four, four. I can get your root beer. Mm. Eighteen grand. Eighteen. Seventeen. Yeah, I mean, I mean, on what year? I literally just got one at the AD. Uh, Customers travelled away from Canada. This is his own branded watch. Put it in the link below. You'll see this. Check him out. How long have you been doing it for? Around five years. Now. Oh, five years? Oh, wow. It's 2018. How are you finding it? It's nice. It's nice. It gives me a nice balance for my life. I like that dial. That's really nice. I think this is my favourite. Which is this one? Nice actual shape of the watch. Thank you. Yeah, so that's nice. Yeah, the quality of the dog is really nice. It's like he stayed clear from looking like any Solid as well. That's stainless steel. Yeah. How much do you sell them for? That one's 700 US. 700 US. Yeah, so even your quality on the buckle is nice. Obviously open case back. It's cheap for an open case back watch. Oh, the actual quality of the dog is really nice. Right guys, it's nice to see that two gents here are giving it a go at making their own watches. It's a very difficult market to get into, I believe, especially with the quality and the demand of other brands. But listen, good luck from myself. I think you've got a really nice watch there. Um, we're gonna put the link in the bio, so check them out if you guys are interested. And uh, good luck, best of wishes from Trotters. Hi guys, how are we doing? So today's special episode, I'm gonna be talking about the Rolex Deep Sea. So without further ado, Let's dive right into it. So let's start off with a bit of history with the Sea Dweller. So as many of you might not know, the Sea Dweller was actually released in 1967 and it was the first helium escape valve ever created onto a watch. The first model number of the Sea Dweller was the 1665 and it actually run its production from 1967 to 1980. The next model number that Rolex introduced was the 1655 uh, which featured the red font on the dial, but in 1977, Rolex discarded of the red and they created back to white. Which then moves us on to the next model number that Rolex released, and that was the 16600, of which its final production range was 2008 when they discontinued these models. However, after discontinuing in 2008, Rolex released the Deep Sea Sea Dweller, also known as the model number 116600, and the new Deep Sea Sea Dweller was born. Coming off of the 116600, they then released the James Cameron, which I then have in front of me in 2014. So this one here is probably the most popular of the Deep Sea range. Uh, we have three in stock here today. If anyone is interested, hit me up, I'll give you some prices. Then in 2017, they released the SD43, which was the 50th anniversary for the Rolex Sea Dweller. I hope this was a nice little insight to the history of the Rolex Sea Dweller. If you're interested in any of the models that I've spoke about, please hit me up. 
Uh, we currently have three James Camerons in stock, so if that's something you would like, then please let me know. Uh, more than happy to answer your questions. <laughs> Guys, our most frequently asked question is, we've bought a watch from you, how do I insure it? Where do I insure it? If you don't have house and contents insurance, you can use these guys, TH March. They're good as gold, they're right as rain, they're there to help, they're very simple when it comes to insuring it. There's no crazy long-winded process, it's fairly simple. Give them a call, go through it with them. They're, like I say, they're easy to deal with, they're good on the phone, use our code, which is on the back to get probably a little bit of discount off. I'll put it in the description below um, a, a, with the number and the details. These leaflets are available in the store. You can come collect one if you pop and buy. Um, we've got loads of them. Honestly, guys, absolutely good as gold. Get in contact, TH March. So first and foremost, let's touch on a bit of history uh, with the deep sea. So in the 1950s, deep sea diving had to become a real popular. <laughs> the next model number that Rolex introduced was the 1655. No, they that... didn't. <laughs> That's actually going to go really good. 